Tech badging program has really increased students ability to get their hands on technology. It gives us an opportunity to see what other people are doing. Uh, it gives us ideas on how we can use it in the class and we're always trying to be better teachers and by seeing what other people are doing it, it challenges us to uh, to be better in that aspect as well. It is something that's cross-curricular. I can find out something online and application and I can talk to my team and give them ideas on how they could use it in their content areas. The, the engaged learning model, the ELM, uh, there's some really positive parts of it that I've taken out of it. It is teaching the kids uh, how they do have to work better in groups. Uh, it is giving them some real world skills. I've been doing ELM launches for two years. This is my second year now. And some things that we've done to launch and to get students really excited, we've transformed our classroom into a Spanish mission. We've transformed our classroom into a um, campground during the Texas Revolution. One thing that I really like about it is if we do a, an elaborate launch and then we put a primary source document in front of the students, they're so much more excited to see what those people actually wrote and what those people actually said. So EQs and DQs or essential questions and driving questions are fun little tools for teachers to use to guide their lessons and to guide their students thinking. The EQs and DQs, I really like them. It gives the kids a main idea, an idea of what they're doing uh, today and if used effectively it really is a, a solid outline for what the kids should be taking out of class on any given day. Um, essential questions basically um, hit the entire unit. So if in English we're doing a unit over persuasion, the essential question is going to focus on the um, teak or the standard that we want to cover throughout that entire unit. The driving question is a little more specific in that it talks specifically about the lesson that we are going over that day and the lesson um, or particular skill that focused, that is focused on in that lesson. Uh, common planning for the team, it allows us to discuss uh, kids on different aspects. Maybe one of us uh, has a, a student that we know more about, it could be having trouble at home, the parent may be emailing us but not others, so it allows us to discuss and allows our uh, team to kind of have a better idea of all of our kids. Our common planning period at Hillwood has really helped to um, allow our departments to be more cohesive. During that time, we're able to lesson plan have discussions about um, what strategies, teaks, standards, um, lessons, methodology is really working in our individual classrooms. Husky Hollas are really cool. Um, Husky Hollas have actually been a good way to further implement the EQs and DQs, um, but Husky Hollas are when um, teachers go around to other teachers' classrooms and we get to observe um, what they're doing in their classroom. It really served um, the whole staff um, as a way for us to get out of our classroom and see the practices that other teachers are implementing into their classrooms. The Husky Hollers I really like. It allows me to get into classrooms I wouldn't normally get into. Uh, it gives me some ideas of how others teach and how kids respond to those teaching methods and if it's working well for them. Uh, I try to take bits and pieces of those things and tie it into my own lessons. Husky Huddle is a program that's allowed us uh, to really help the kids develop skills that they need for all their academic classes that they don't always have time to uh, teach in the academic classes. Things like study skills, note taking, planning, and goal setting we can do through Husky Huddle. Grade check uh, is a way for teachers and students to stay caught up with how students are doing in their classes. So every Tuesday and Thursday the students will check their grades uh, through Home Access Center, write them down, and then teachers will come around and make sure that the students are passing their classes and if they're not, um, ask, you know, what things can we do, what assignments can we make up, what's missing, what can we turn in, um, and it's another great way to celebrate students that are doing really well. So we're really excited about the YES program, the year-end studies in our school. Uh, it's the first year that we're going to implement it into the program. We're taking those last few weeks when usually the textbooks have been taken up, uh, most of the grades are in, and there's, uh, there's not a lot of real beneficial time for the students. Instead, we're turning it into what I think is going to be the most beneficial time uh, that the students ever have. Uh, it's a great opportunity for students to give back to the community. It, that includes animal shelters, uh, daycares, hospitals, police officers. So it's an opportunity for the kids to be able to learn real world scenarios, real world skills, and then give back to the community at the same time. So we're really excited to tie and bring our community together with our school. Yeah.